salt. You've seen me use it several times in several videos, and I can tell you it is something I typically carry with me whenever I head into the backcountry. Now, the reasons are kind of a no-brainer. Obviously, our body needs salt. Uh, we need salt to stay hydrated, to avoid cramping, to, to get a better night's sleep, uh, to avoid hypertension. I mean, there's a lot of great benefits to salt. More importantly, there is a clear difference between sodium and salt. Think of salt as something that's uh, more natural, like sea salt or your Himalayan uh, pink salt or your rock salts. There's nothing added to them. In the form of sea salt, essentially the water is evaporated, you're left with salt. Or your Himalayan uh, pink salts, those are essentially mined and nothing's added to them. Now, salt does have natural sodium in it, but it's in very low quantities. More importantly, it has anywhere between 80 and 90 extra trace minerals that are really gonna help you out when you're out in the back country. Rock salt will keep you alive. This is a really easy way to replenish some of those electrolytes as well as retain moisture. This is gonna give me the ability to just shave off little pieces. Just like that. That's just enough salt to keep me going. Taking in small quantities over a period of time, you'll be able to retain water, keep yourself alive. So it's a great thing to have. I like to carry with me, it's relatively low weight. It adds a little bit of flavor to the food, but it also helps in you know, maintaining proper hydration, cardiovascular system, good sleep, avoids cramping. It's just something our body naturally needs. That right there is pink Himalayan rock salt. It is in its natural form. It was mined just like this. I get chunks of it, put it in my bag, and away I go. I can tell you, I actually carry more than what you would uh, you know, really need out there, but I always think it has multiple uses. One, you can definitely preserve fish, you can preserve game in it, almost like you're making a jerky. It's gonna help draw out that moisture and add to that drying, as well as you can season and flavor foods with it. More importantly, it's really gonna help me in uh, rehydration. So where I'm at, typically out in Colorado or the Chihuahua Desert, or New Mexico or anywhere really, um, I lose a lot of water, I sweat pretty frequently. And an easy way for me to maintain good hydration with the electrolytes is incorporating this rock salt into different teas and sometimes even into my water. So there is a clear difference between your table salt, which is mostly sodium, which is not good for you. Too much sodium is relatively uh, bad and it's just it's not really doing anything but adding that flavor to food when you think of all the processed foods that you might eat a lot of it is encased in sodium as a preservation tool natural salts in their purest form sea salts as well as rock salts are the best form for you to maintain uh, proper salt levels so you can stay hydrated get some good sleep avoid cramping the whole list of things on why salt is good for you compared to something like sodium When you think of salt, like, you know, most animals have those natural salt licks or mineral licks that they'll resource, and uh, they kind of know where those are. Um, sometimes they'll find them in the soil, you'll find animals licking up soil deposits, rocks, anything that will give them those natural minerals and salts, they need those to survive just as much as we do. Now, to avoid having to go and lick dirt and find mineral deposits, I like to just bring some rock salt with me. So, my salt pouch, you'll see it in this video and you'll continue to see it in other videos i don't travel anywhere without it i would rather have this pouch right here full of this rock salt more than i would prefer to have you know a knife or anything to that extent because this is definitely going to keep me going yes a knife is something like a tool but if you know how to craft that then uh you're ahead of the game that salt why i carry it why it's important and something you might want to consider putting in your kit all right thanks for watching